Hey, welcome back to Learning Self Reliance. Today I wanted to do something a bit different for my channel and I wanted to talk about one of the latest developments of the TV show Alone, Season 2. For anybody who hasn't seen the show, um, they send contestants out into the woods and see how long they can survive uh, using 10 items. And uh, one of the items that people typically bring is a ferro rod. So this is my large ferro rod here and I've got it attached to this key reel. And uh, I think this is pretty pertinent to the le latest season. Uh, one of the guys lost his ferro rod, so he made a fire. It ended up, uh, he looked back on the footage on his camera. He set the ferro rod down next to him. It rolled into the fireplace. He, he lost it, and he couldn't find it after that, right? So he lost his ferro rod. Previous season, somebody else also lost their ferro rod. So I think that's a pretty common thing for people. You know, you're, you're working really hard making your fire. You barely manage to get it started, you know, with wet materials or something like that. You're struggling to get that fire going. You finally get that spark, that, that, that flame coming out of your, your tinder. And so you just set your ferro rod down, start managing that fire, get it going. And so you can easily forget where you put that ferro rod and lose it. So one of the things I've done to mitigate that in my kit is to attach it onto a key reel. So this is an actually a really top-notch quality um, key reel here. And it's actually this is actually like Kevlar rope here. So this stuff is super strong and uh, it, it's got this little uh, key ring. And I put that through my ferro rod here. I attach this to the belt loop of one of my uh, of my pair of pants so that this is permanently attached to my body this is really strong so it's not going to bust and uh when i'm making my fire if i'm desperate trying to get that fire going as i would imagine i've never been in the situation myself before but if, as you're desperate trying to get that fire going you finally get that that little fire going in your kindling and you let go of your fail rod and it's just going to reel up hook up to your pants you're not going to set it down on the ground and lose it this is a pretty simple solution, I think, to the problem. I don't think you could just take some paracord or something and attach it to you because then it's going to be uh, flailing around and hitting you unless you put it in your pocket. It'll be distracting or something like that. This is nice because you can pull it as far as you need it, let it go, and it goes right back to your hip and you don't lose it. So if you don't have a key reel or something like that, I'd say, you know, attach it to your hip with some uh, paracord or something like that, some bank line. But uh, I, I really like to have this attached to my extra large ferro rod here to make sure I don't lose this extremely important item of uh, fire making. I mean, if you're in a wet situation, I, I'm pretty sure I couldn't make a fire without at least a ferro rod. But that's just my personal uh, skill level. So I do want to say, you know, I'm... I'm uh, People have seen my mock bug outs. I'm no, by no means uh, better or even as good as these uh, most of these people, I think, in this show. But um, I do think that this is something I can kind of contribute to the bushcraft uh, world and help people uh, to retain your ferro rod. So I'll include a link to this uh, key reel here. But um, hopefully with this, it'll make it really easy for anybody to make that fire even when you're desperate and not lose this extremely important item. Alright guys, thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.